Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you find the surface area of a composite solid made up of a hemisphere and a cylinder. So, a few things to remember. Uh, first thing is surface area. Surface area means how many squares fit on the surface. Um, and we have two shapes that, two solids that make up this composite solid, which is a hemisphere, which is uh, just a sphere cut into half, and a cylinder uh, that sits on the bottom. So we have this cylinder right here. Uh, so we're going to be dealing with two formulas. Uh, the fourth first formula is the surface area of a sphere. Uh, so sphere um, is, if you guys remember, surface area is 4 pi r squared because it takes four circles to completely cover a sphere and the cylinder Okay, is uh, S equals 2B plus PH for the two base areas, the base perimeter, and the distance between the two heights. Uh, however, we're not going to use these formulas exactly how they're written here because uh, with composite figures, uh, certain things are covered up and certain things we don't need, certain things uh, squares don't uh, aren't found on the surface. So if we look at this, first thing is we don't have a full sphere. We have a hemisphere, which is half of a sphere. So if we cut that full sphere in half for a hemisphere, uh, we're going to uh, not use four pi r squared, but we're going to use half, uh, which is two pi r squared. So we only need two circles to cover up this hemisphere. Uh, and then for this cylinder right here, uh, we're going to change things because, uh, so for the formula for a cylinder, it's two bases plus the perimeter base perimeter and the height, two bases. However, when we, so here's the two bases for this cylinder. But when we take this sphere, or sorry, hemisphere, and put it on top, see how it covers up one of the bases for this cylinder? Uh, so we can't, there won't be any squares on the surface on this base. All the squares would be on the hemisphere and the rest of the cylinder. Uh, so, we don't need this second base right here. So what we're going to do with this formula is take out one of the bases because it's covered up by the hemisphere and just put 1B plus base perimeter and height. And then we'll add those two together. Uh, so let's figure out what the surface area of this hemisphere is. Uh, it looks like our radius is 6, so we'll plug that in. So 2 pi times 6 squared. 6 squared is 36 pi times 2. 2 times 36 is 72 pi. So now we have the surface area of just this hemisphere, this top part of this composite solid. Now let's get the surface area for this cylinder uh, that isn't covered up by the hemisphere. So just the cylinder that's wide open uh, to put squares on. Uh, so we have the one base and the base of this cylinder is a circle. Uh, so, and the area of a circle is pi r squared. So I'm going to write pi uh, and our radius for this base right here for this circle is the same as the radius up here which is six so we'll write six squared plus uh now we want to get this lateral area around the cylinder p is base perimeter another word for perimeter of a circle is circumference if you guys remember the formula for circumference it's two pi r so i'll write two pi and the radius is six and H is the distance between these two bases, which is four. 
and we'll just multiply all of this out. So six squared is 36, so 36 pi. This represents, again, the area of just this one base that's exposed. Uh, we're forgetting about the second base up here because it's not exposed because that hemisphere is covering it. And we'll multiply this. Two times six is 12, times four is 48 pi. And now we're just going to add all three of these pies. We have 72 pies here, 36 pies, and 48 pies. And let's combine those like terms. Let's use our calculator just to make sure. 72 plus 36 plus 48, which is 156. And don't forget, we're talking about pies here. So pi centimeters, and it's the number of squares that fit on the surface. So 156 pi centimeters squared. Um, so, or if your uh, teacher wants it in uh, decimal, go, again, go to mode, press the mode button, go to classic, take it off math print, and just type in 156 pi, and that would be 490.08. So those will be your two answers, either 156 pi, centimeter squared or 490 point something something centimeters squared hope this helps the big takeaway is that when you have composite figures you don't just take the surface area of one shape and add it to the surface area of the other shape you have to figure out which part of the shape is being covered up when you combine those two figures together so we figure that this covered up one of the bases so we didn't use both bases we just used one base there you go. I uh, hope this helps. Have a great day.